What's really good? What's really good? You already know who it is, man. You already know what it do. It is your boy, Donnie the Great, and you just tuned into the Don Show. I'm here with my boy, Boots. Boots, what's the deal? Oh, man, I'm blessed, you know? Blessed. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. So, man, I know it's been a minute since you and I didn't sat down and chopped it up a little bit. We in a little different setting, a little different environment, you dig? Um, yeah, yeah, you know. How you like my setting? Oh, man, it's nice. Nice. I like it. <laughs> appreciate that. Appreciate that. So, what you been up to lately, man? Oh, man, just uh, just earning and burning. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm really killer, kind of killer the TikTok game. You know what I mean? A lot of people been... Uh, Tuning in to TikTok, basically, in other words. Yeah, yeah. You know I what I mean? Think. And, you know, kill it lyrically. You know what I mean? That That's... Oh, you rap too? Yeah, I, I, I do. I do. Okay. <laughs> My boy rap. What, I mean, you, you, um, you, you working on something? You got something out? I mean, I have one on Apple Music. Okay, what's the name of it? It's called Legacy by Aztec the Don. Uh, through some, through some unfortunate events, my name isn't on the track, mm -hmm. but um, I am mentioned. Okay. You know, I'm, I'm verbally mentioned on the track, you know. Well, I like to tell my youngsters, man, coming up, man, in this game, man. Independent, if you're trying to be independent, um, even if you're not trying to be independent, but just learning the game, one of the first advices I can give is go get your writer's license. Go get your writer's license because when music is put out, then music is able to be split and you would be able to get your royalties for the music that you do. Okay. Yes, sir. I, so, um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I would love to see the look on my face when you when you said that. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, because it kind of secure you. You know what I mean? And within your music, we get more into that on the next episode on how we feel about different artists, um, independent artists, is coming up and the different tools and the ways that they move. <clears throat> um, what? Um, what inspired you to start doing music? Because I know you say you do. Well, what kind of music you do? You do rap, pop. Uh, I do. I do uh, mainly rap. Uh, you know, I think that's where my where my heart has mostly been. That's what you know. I, I that's what I bumped most of my life and so forth. Uh, but I mean, like we, uh, you know, I've explored reggae. You know, I've explored reggae. You know, what I mean, um, a lot of even uh, even doo wop. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying, and I do uh, I do sing too. I do a little singing on my TikTok, you know. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's uh, you know, because so, uh, uh, all of us, you know, all of us, you know, have a little mix, mm -hmm. you know, in our in our, you know, we probably have like a main genre, you know, but all of us have like a little mix of, of stuff we listen to, or uh, you might be in a mood for something else, you know what I mean? Another kind of vibe, you know. I can I mean? dig it, you know. And, I can uh, dig it. I mean, like we, Weezy, Weezy wanted to do rock at one point, and you know what I mean. I think that's a really under underrated album, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, just to just for critiquing sake, you know what I'm saying. Uh, but um, as far as what inspires me to do this, is um, well, when you're younger, you know, you see these videos, and you know, you just. You just know how you just see how cool these guys look, and you say you, you say, man, I, I wish I was that guy. You know, what I mean, so. Mm -hmm. But you get a little older, and you get to respecting the craft a little more, and you know, and you start picking lyrics apart. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's more than just a video with, you know, maybe you know who, who's a, an example with. Fat, with Fat Joe, you know, he's in his Timberlands and his chains and, you know, he's together with Big Pun, you know what I mean? It's it's more than an image. Mm -hmm. It's it's what you do, you know what I mean? We, you it's know, a culture. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a culture that survived 50 years mm -hmm. for, for a lot of good reason when, you know, people thought that it wouldn't survive. You yeah. know, even, uh, you know, uh, I know a lot of us have seen uh, Straight Outta Compton now. Uh, you know, somebody was trying to tell uh, those people that 
or not those people, uh, somebody was trying to tell NWA mm -hmm. <laughs> that this shit wasn't going to work. You know what I mean? And it's, it, it's turned out to work tremendously well. You're always going to find somebody that's going to try to pull you down. Yeah. All and the it, time. Right. And everybody's going to have their opinion. Mm-hmm. You know? But about this music, um, do you have any plans on... Got any up upcoming things or any things in the works? Yeah, uh, I'm, hoping to, I'm hoping to put out an EP. That's that's definitely like one of my goals for uh, 2024. I want to put just a couple tracks together, you know what I mean? And uh -huh. and see what that does, you know? And, uh, you know, hopefully uh, somebody... Uh, well, check it out. I can dig it. I can dig it. So we could expect some music from you 2024 on all major platforms, correct? Like Spotify and Apple Music and things like that, correct? Yeah. Okay. Is that a for sure? You don't seem confident, player. Well, I mean, it is the thing. You you know how fucking how fucking wicked you are, but. Somehow always has to be put behind it, you know. So we'll see what gets put behind it, and we're gonna see what we're gonna see how far it goes, you know. I can dig it. How do you how how do you feel about the new artists that's coming out? A lot of them are making more uh, emotionally intelligent uh, 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 kind of songs. Mm -hmm. Which I think is which I think is good. You know, we're talking more about those things today, but um, and I appreciate the fact that fucking we can we can clearly see that these are all fucking Lil Wayne's kids. <laughs> I just why, why I, you say Lil Wayne kids? <laughs> I mean, like I, I've I've touched on it before, you know, uh, in our last encounter. But I mean, like I mean, like. It's a, it's, it, it's almost like, like as simple as one, two, three. The, look, we, we all saw like how Wayne had his era, and he just dominated almost music entirely. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because just because he was so sick. You know what I mean? You know, shouts out to him. But honestly, like, well, okay, me, no, I feel no, no, like, no. okay, no, 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 uh, no. I remember, I remember. Sorry. Uh, the new artist, like we can, we can basically see like how how he just took over, and we all saw that. So, a lot of people were inspired by him. A lot of people were inspired. I mean, like even his fashion game, basically, like basically, like you can see it's in, it's in the look. You know no, what I mean? No, you I'm know? just asking. How do you feel about the music today? The music, uh, music today. To be honest, I haven't been staying too current. I've been, I've been. <laughs> you ain't been keeping up to date. No, I mean, like I've, I've been digging back. I've been actually digging backwards into like the, into like a lot of Cypress Hill, a lot of, um, a lot of uh, hypnotized mind, that camp, and uh, you know, a lot of, uh, a lot of bone thugs. I've been digging back in those crates. You know, so you haven't heard no upcoming artists, mm. even independent artists that's not even out yet. Mm. Now it hit your radar. I mean, nobody's nobody's, I guess, got a big enough pop to be like, okay, let me check this kid out. You For know? you, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, because I heard a couple undergrounds. That ain't out. You got T Money Beats Bang. You got Street of the Worst. You got YM. You got um, 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 Chase Down the Gorilla. Uh, you got, um, I mean, they out there in Compton. There's a couple of like underground artists that been hitting my radar. That's pretty dope. Yeah. As a matter of fact, um, there's a new joint coming out called Manya from um, T Money, Street of the Worst, 
um, Chase Down the Gorilla. When that come out, you should check that out, man. But check out T Money Beats Bang okay. on IG. Check out his, his, you know, and check him out on um, YouTube too. He got a bunch of joints. He got a joint he did with Spice One. He got a joint that he did with. Uh, I ain't gonna spoil it. I'm gonna just say check him out. You feel me? Okay. Uh, Street of the Worst. He got a joint that he did called Streeters. He got a joint also that he on called On Lane. Yeah, man, it's a couple of underground artists that been hit my radar. You feel me? Okay. No, I mean like, I mean shout shout out to all the all the up and coming artists. You know what I mean? But I just, I'm 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 I'm, I'm such a I'm such a <laughs> excuse my language. I'm such an asshole. You know, I'm so I'm so hard to impress when it comes to when it comes to the, this this. Music. Craft, yeah. Well, I would say check them out. Okay, yeah. Check them out. When I holler at you next time, we're going to do a review. I want to know what songs you listen to and what you thought of. Okay. Mm -hmm. it's, 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 hard, it's hard for me to, to, to really... Uh, respect, even like some, some. I'm not gonna say respect. It's hard for me to to be impressed with even like some some legends of the game. You know what I mean? Uh, it, it's just. Is it because of their lyricism, or is it? I mean, like, what is it? Well, I mean, some of them got like good flow. But it's just the lyrics don't impress me. You know what I mean? It, 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 and a lot of it, a lot of times, it's because they're just storytelling. And a lot of times, when you got to get the the story out, I mean, like, it, there's not a lot of room to be lyrically impressive. But I mean, there's also there's 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 two ways to divide. It. There's uh, there's there's rapping on a topic, and there's what I call like shot in the dark rap. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, shot shot in the dark rap. It's like you know, basically. Man, Weezy didn't even do that. He's still telling a story. Like you know, like his. Well, well, what is it different that you bring into the table? That's not impressive. What do you bring in the impressive to the table? That's different from what we are hearing already. Well, I mean, like, I'm going to have to be a little arrogant here. Um, my, my lyricism, I know, I know it's just top notch. And I do, I do a lot. I, I, what I do is, uh, honestly, uh, a lot of what I call uh, uh, whoop-ass rap. Okay. You know. <laughs> you, know uh, uh, you freestyle as well? You know, I've, I've been working on freestyling, and I just really realized like the value of it because it's like first of all you gotta pay for studio time you know mm -hmm. so having somebody that can run in and out of there and just fucking like blah, 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 you know what I mean that, that that's that's a valuable artist that's an artist you probably want to invest in mm -hmm. but um, also you know that'd be probably easier than memorizing something you know if you're good at it y yeah a lot yeah. of people be, you know, jibber jabbing. They they're not really. Yeah. They say a bunch of clever words, but really they ain't really. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I want to put you up to a test or something, bro. What, what's that? <laughs> I want to see you probably in two weeks, maybe three weeks, and um, I I I want you to write. I I'm gonna give you a little. You know, it's gonna be a YouTube promotional use only. I'm gonna give you a track. I want you to write to it. And I want to see what what your delivery is gonna be like. That's different, and how your music is whoop ass. And we gonna go live on this next one, so we can just let people judge it for themselves. How do you feel about that? <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Okay. <laughs> so people, you already you, you hear that? 
Next time we do this right here, we going live, we want you to tune in. We want you to tell me, what do you think of the lyrics? Is it different from what's out? If it, is it better? Is it trash? <laughs> or gas? Know. Let me know. <laughs> Let them know. He do want to know. Is there, I mean, where could we find you at? On um, so any social media platforms or whatever. Uh, social media, um, my TikTok, my TikTok, I believe, is. Uh, you believe? You don't know your TikTok? Boots, Boots 420. Yeah, it's I don't know. at Boots 420, little B, four O's. Okay. I can dig it, I can dig it. Okay, is that the only place they can find you? Uh, for for now. A little bit before we jumped on air, um, oh, yeah. that you do plan on, you know, starting you a YouTube page. Um, so, you know, those that's following Boots on TikTok, um, you guys stay tuned for his YouTube page oh, yeah. that he'll be starting pretty soon. So, you know, all the followers, all the fans, the people that stay in tune to his work. I'm pretty sure um, I have some kind of profile under there. Prepare for that. Well, yeah. I mean, well, it's still under construction, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah. We still got to get uh, updated and things like that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, my bad. His YouTube page is still under construction, so right. I forgive him for his page. But there's, there's one video, if you recognize me from it, you probably laughed as soon as you saw my face. I can dig it, I can dig it. <laughs> But look, peoples, man, that's a wrap for us. It is your boy, Don Lee the Great, and I'm here with Boots. And thank you guys for tuning in to the Don Show. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Thank we you. Out,